What's going on guys and welcome back to the Hammer Dance YouTube channel. Today we have a special video for you. Since you guys loved my OBS tutorial videos so much, I decided to put together a video of my top five, well, I, is it six, five or six? Either way, I put together a video here with some of my best tips and tricks um, that you guys can use to further your knowledge with OBS. I mean, if you're a beginner user, you're definitely gonna find this helpful. Even if you're an intermediate user, maybe you've been using OBS for a couple of years, definitely stick around because there may be a couple tips in here that you weren't even aware of. On a side note though, guys, I really wanted to say that I appreciate the support you guys have been giving me the past couple of weeks. It is crazy. The channel is growing at a rapid rate. You guys seem to love the stream tips video, so I'm gonna keep them coming. Let me know down in the comments what you guys wanna see. Anything you guys wanna learn, let me know. I will make a video on it. All right, guys, so without further ado, we are going to jump into this video. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks that you guys can use with OBS. All right, guys, so here we go. We're gonna jump right into it here. I'm gonna just use my, basically my um, streaming scene here with my camera off to the left. And I'm gonna show you guys my OBS and here are some tips and tricks. So the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is if you see here on my OBS, it has some elements here that normally you'd see in Streamlabs OBS. Um, may have been the determining factor of why some of you guys chose that over OBS. Um, however, as you can see here, you can have these widgets in OBS. They added the ability to do that a few patches ago. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. What these are called is docs. Um, so there, I can see my Twitch chat right here, uh, my stream information, all that stuff. I can update my game, everything that I'm doing right from here. Um, and that is a very cool feature that OBS has added. So you can put multiple docs on top of each other and just tab through them like this. And then you can position them pretty much anywhere you want here. Um, so first things first is when you open your OBS, it probably looks like this. Crazy, I know, this inception of OBS that we got going on here, but um, this is probably what it looks like. So now you're gonna go to view, you're gonna go to docs, and I you can pre pretty much set up any custom docs you want, but it has some built into it here. So we have Twitch stats, which are down here. If you notice, I can see how many viewers I have, how many clips I've made, how many subs I have, followers and views, all that stuff when I am live. Um, so we're gonna put the Twitch activity feed here. Boom, I have it set to the left side. This is how I can see when you guys follow me or um, host or raid or sub or anything like that. And then obviously I wanna have the chat here as well. So we're gonna bring up the chat. Boom, chat's on there. Um, I keep my chat on the right side simply because I drag my OBS to my left monitor. So I like to have my chat um, close to my center monitor as possible. So that's how you would add docs to OBS. If you didn't know that, now you know, very easy to do. All right, so. Now we're going to move on to tip number two, replay buffer. So for those of you guys who don't know, in OBS, you can set it up so that you have um, a replay buffer system, meaning you can basically assign it to a hotkey. You can hit that hotkey and OBS will record the last 60 seconds of your stream. One button. Um, this is a very good way to accumulate clips if you're putting together some videos for YouTube and things like that. So what you're going to do is you are going to go into your settings in OBS. You're gonna come down to here. Um, you're gonna go to the replay buffer tab in the output tab. You're going to enable replay buffer. Set it to the amount of seconds that you want. I have mine on 60 seconds because it's nice to just take a full minute clip if something cool happened and I wanna save it, boom, hit that replay buffer button. You're gonna enable it here, 60 seconds or 30 seconds, whatever you prefer. And then you can come down here to hotkeys and Replay buffer. See, I use my Elgato Stream Deck to do mine, but right here you would assign a hotkey to it, like backslash or something like that. And then every time you hit that key, apply, okay. Every time you hit that key, boom, one minute of your stream has now been saved, hard copy to your computer, which you can use in a montage or whatever you want to do. May have not known that either. Ooh, next one. So this is a good one um, that we're going to do here. I'm going to, can I make this bigger? If I do, it looks horrible. We're not going to do that. So, um, color correcting your webcam. This is going to be kind of hard to do um, because it's going to look kind of small in this video, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it for yourselves. So, first step is going to be you're going to find your webcam in your sources and you're going to hit right click it and hit filters. Once we get to the filters, we're going to come up here and apply some video filters. So, whoops, those are audio. Once we, once, once you get to filters, you're going to come down here and these are going to be your video filters. So, this is where you can apply things to your webcam to change the color of it. So let's pick color correction, for example. And now we have all these sliders where you can adjust the gamma, the contrast, the brightness, saturation. We can make my, look at this. 
would you guys like it if i streamed like this does this look cool to you no it does not it does not look cool um yeah so this is how you would color correct your stream to use you like so okay so my my webcam is pretty well balanced uh right now because i'm using the canon uh, m200 it's pretty balanced so if it wasn't balanced like let's say that it was very blue um and that like i had a lot of blue tint for some reason from my room i can come in here and use the hue shift and saturation to get rid of that blue tint a little bit um and then you can tweak the brightness and the contrast all that stuff to get the feel that you need obviously this is going to be for your webcam it's going to be different for everybody so play around with it if you need some help let me know in the comments below maybe i'll make a video on tweaking webcams um so that's tip number three color correct your webcam people love when your camera looks good they just do they just do tip number four is going to be a really simple quick tip i've had so many of you guys talk to me um in the comments saying i'm trying to stream in 900p it won't let me like why is this happening it keeps going to 1080 or it keeps going to 720. This is a simple one, very simple. This isn't even a tip. This is just, I just need to tell you this. So I'm putting this in this video. Go to settings, go to output. Please uncheck this box. Do not check enforce streaming service encoder settings. Whatever you do, uncheck that box. Thank you. Tip number five here, actually, this kind of goes off of the one that we just talked about, uh, the checking, unchecking that box. Um, so I had a lot of you ask me how to get your stream in 900p. There's no option for it. And it's simple. You're going to go down here to your video in your settings. I can't do it right now because I'm recording with OBS. So this is all grayed out. But if I wasn't recording, I would be able to click in here. You can actually click and type in here. You don't need to select something that's on a list. So go in here, click delete everything that's in there in the output resolution and type in 1600 x 900 hit enter boom apply okay your stream will now be 900p here's a good tip that i do want to give you guys i've actually had a lot of you come in my stream actually and ask me this question and and this was a lot of testing that i did um on my own as well so i did stream with two pcs for a while right now i've been streaming with one um, and the reason being is because I have a 2070 Super and it's, it handles everything perfectly fine. And it, quite frankly, it's a little easier to stream just off one PC right now for me. Um, so the dilemma that a lot of people face is doing game capture for your source versus display capture. So you're going to use display capture if you're doing things like um, graphic design work on stream or like just watching things and stuff like that. Display capture is fine. But if you're on a single PC stream, you need to use game capture while you're gaming simply because it allows your game and your monitor to utilize G-Sync or FreeSync, whatever you have, um, and you will get zero input lag. Whereas if you use display capture and you're gaming in 144 hertz or 240 hertz, um, you get tons of input lag and it does not feel as smooth as if you use game capture. Trust me, I've tried it. So verdict here, if you're on a single PC stream and you're gaming, use game capture to capture whatever games you're streaming. If you're not gaming and you're doing some like video editing stuff or some artwork or just watching videos with your stream, display capture is perfectly fine. All right, guys. So that's really all I've got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. That lets me know that you guys enjoyed it. Drop some comments down below. Let me know if it helped you guys in any way or if there's something that I should have went over more or is there something else that you guys want to learn or want me to make a video on. Just drop all your ideas down below in the comments. Believe me, I do read every single one and I try and respond to all the comments on my videos. I really do. Um, but if you guys enjoy this content that I make, please subscribe to the channel. Maybe turn on your post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. But anyways, guys, that's all from me. So keep your hammers up in the air. And I'll see you next time. Wait, you're the weight room? Oh, no. I don't think there's anyone here, actually. Is my gun on full auto? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Oh, there's someone in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Careful. Grenade, grenade, grenade. I'm dead. Yeah. I killed him, but I'm dead.